hello friends welcome to share market friend again today i am going to cover uh, basic understanding and un, uh, study of the company related to uh, neel kamal limited this company's products basically include furniture material handling mattress home and lifestyle and bubble guard in this video i am not going to give you any recommendation related to buying and selling this video is not about that so if you are expecting that uh, you won't get it here this is a website of company if you check out uh, the share price of this company from last 6 month its share price is into downtrend only recently it has rose around 10 to 13 percent 10 to 12 percent if you see the 5 years graph this company share was increasing and only last 2 to 3 years it was consolidating between 1500 to 2000 before uh, starting to decrease sharply uh, if you see the multi-year graph of share price graph of this company you can see four to from last four to five years this company share has rose very much before that it was uh, trading at very low prices and it was also uh, very stagnant and there wasn't any such movement as such uh, if you check out uh, details of this company on website of uh, BSE whatever data available in public domain uh, you can understand that its P ratio uh, which decides the cost of costliness of the company share price it is in the range of 17 and for its competitors like uh, you can check here I'll zoom it to into uh, competitors like Supreme Industries, Phenolex Industries, Time Technoplast Industries the PE ratio is in the range of 20 to 25 so currently Neil Kamal is trading compared to uh, other such peers at a little discount uh, if you see their sales that is in million it is around 500 million for Neil Kamal for 1500 million for Supreme Industries around Phenolex and Time Technoplast in the range of 500 to 700 million and they have proportionate profit compared to uh, Neil Kamal uh, if you check out the shareholding pattern of this company there are few important and interesting details are available first uh, the 63 percent is hold by promoter and promoter group of company and 36 is owned by public if you check out click on this link of promoter and promoter group uh, you come to know the names of details who are holding the family family members they are holding around 48 percent those are Hiten V Parekh, Mr. Nayan Parekh and all the Parekh family members and relatives etc and remaining uh, 15 percent is owned by Neil Kamal Builders Private Limited, Heirloom Finance Private Limited, Srimanth Holding Private Limited so that adds up to making 63 percent uh, total promoter holding and then the remaining <coughs> public share holding is basically owned by a few mutual funds and institutional investors and retail investors uh, if you see that uh, important here it is actually it is said that if uh, large institutional investors or mutual funds are holding into any company then that company is treated as uh, having a bright future or very good expectation by market because these people do a lot of study related to company it is assumed so so currently uh, many mutual funds are there as they invest in this company like DSP small cap which holds 5% HDFC small cap that holds around 5% Tata mutual fund through Tata equity PE fund that holds around 2% and important one of the investor is Mr. Dolly Khanna uh, who holds around 2% uh, into the company who is very renowned investor and well known and popular on YouTube also you can find very there invest uh, very much videos related to his uh, investment etc and other remaining are IEPF, Trust, HUF, non resident Indians etc one important thing you can understand here is that individual shareholders means minor shareholders who hold uh, shares up to value of 2 lakh those are around 24,000 uh, investors are there apart from who are buying mutual fund out of this three okay so this is shareholding pattern of this company uh, if you check out the <coughs> financial performance that is provided on BSC website in public domain uh, you can see the overall uh, annually you can check that companies uh, these values are in million 
it was 1600 million in 2014 then it rose to 1700 million the total revenue then 1800 million then 20 then 2100 million the profit margin operating profit margin is in the range of 8 to 10 percent and net profit margin is very thin that is 2 to 5 percent so i think company has a risk of compromising a profit margin maybe uh, that is uh, due to their raw material dependence on crude side product because they deal with basically into uh, plastics uh, majority so that is what I understand is it depends on crude byproduct that is required for uh, production of plastic or processing of plastic then uh, it also exports to other markets also so it does has impact of uh, dollar related things or dollar related fluctuation so that one thing we need to keep in mind uh, and another few details those are uh, explained in their website you can check out their website for detail overall business understanding of this company first we will check out about a section on their website here you can see the Neil Kamal's core businesses they have mentioned here that is material handling solutions molded furniture Neil Kamal mattress then uh, Neil Kamal home ideas related to furniture and then bubble guard solutions apart from uh, at home retail uh, home store retail chain also they have mentioned here their details of various plants in overall country those are like in north they have presence in their presence in uh, Samba that is in Jammu and Kashmir Greater Noida Uttar Pradesh Barjora West Bengal Sindar Nasik Maharashtra Silvasa Union Territory and Dadra Nagar Haveli two plants then Pondicherry Union Territory in Hosur in Tamil Nadu so these are plants and eight to ten plants they have mentioned here then we can check out the leadership details who are the leaders of this company these are first is Mr. Vaman Rai Parikh who is co-founder and promoter of Neil Kamal group he has around 60 years of experience in the plastic industry uh, then Mr. Sharad Parikh managing director of Neil Kamal group he also has a good experience in business and plastic led industry then Mr. Hiten Parikh joint MD and promoter of Neil Kamal group then Mr. Manish Parekh who is looking after furniture he is president and executive director then Mr. Nayan Parekh president and executive director for material handling part Mr. Nayan Parekh all this do have shareholding on their head so that is one thing to mention important uh, they have mentioned their overall journey or overall starting and end of business the first significant move when it started in 1934 it was by Mr. Vajlal Parikh who started to manufacture metal buttons in one of one machine factory shed in 1934 then onwards they have continuously improved enter into various markets and products like crate manufacturing chairs uh, then they got become official crate supplier in 1994 for to coca-cola and pepsi so that is a significant big customer for the company then you can check out other plants of this country uh, company set up in future uh, later time then they set up 2005 at home their retail home furniture series then they did jv with Bito uh, logger technique of germany in 2006 and then significant movement in 2011 that was JV with Combro Manufacturing Company USA uh, then in 2007-17 they started uh, Bubble Guard in their business product okay uh, then we'll check out their awards and accolades they have got here they have provided basic details and uh, overall reach of the company it has 10 large manufacturing plants across India and Sri Lanka which occupy a massive 1 million square feet of constructed area they have around 400 plus techno commercial experts uh, which operate in 39 regional offices then 71 warehouses they have spread in India uh, they have 1100 distributors 18,000 retail dealers uh, they are good on quality management, environment management, occupational health and energy management where they have received various certifications and also various manufacturing awards also they have received. Okay. 
then we'll check out their partners basically they have mentioned their uh, three important uh, foreign partners those are, those are Hanel Buro then Combe left from Ireland first is from Germany third is from Isle Master Ireland they all provide uh, important benefit to company in the field of uh, material handling and automated storage and all related things okay we'll check out their businesses if you click on this uh, furniture uh, link before that I'll close few tabs okay if you click on this furniture then it shows all the products sold by company those are for living room bedroom home utility cafe and banquet you can see here all the illustrative very good images okay then second business is of material handling that is basically deals with uh, crate supplying road safety products vaccine carriers material handling equipment metal shelving and ra uh, racking solutions hospitality products etc then they have mattress which is basically uh, used for medical or home purposes everywhere we see the basic this domestic kind of product that of mattress then home and furniture products they also sell those are living room then for dining room bedroom they have listed various products like lounge ascents then beds bookshelves decor dining set shoe racks wardrobes etc then they have recently launched product that is bubble guard as mentioned on their timeline it is basically used for guarding purposes what I understand from this images that is like uh, protection and shock absorbing kind of guard I think that is sheet guard here it is shown pack guard for protection of wreckage back boxes Pro coil guard for protection of coils pallet guard uh, then floor guard wood guard etc so these are all products of this company uh, we have seen the uh, financial side of the company and the basic business model and overall uh, products of the company through its websites and few important thing that is to understand through its annual report is that uh, so many people think that this company has presence only in the field of uh, plastic molding or furniture etc but 10% of its revenue comes from uh, retail uh, retail products basically it's home uh, at home uh, retail uh, shop series is there you can you must have observed it into various malls and uh, various places where they sell furniture and lifestyle related products furnishing accessories etc so 90 percent of their products comprise that of overall total revenue comes from plastic and 10 percent that comes from retail that is i think they have mentioned it as lifestyle furniture furnishing and accessories so that is the breakup I wanted to show you of their overall functioning it is mentioned on 137 page number in their annual report so this was all about Neil Kamal and its business and its financial things I have made various videos on various companies and financial related issues in my video section if you click on uh, name of share market fund then go to videos you can find various videos on YouTube okay so that was all about in this video thank you for listening share market friend if you liked or if you want any change or if you don't like you can mention it into the comment section below the video thank you very much for listening share market friend